Once two of the preceding three expenditure approval tasks have completed, trigger the issued check task. Wait until the remaining task has completed before allowing the issued check task to fire again. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the structured partial join pattern. The convergence of two or more branches, say M, into a single subsequent branch following a corresponding divergence earlier in the process model such that the thread of control is passed to the subsequent branch when N of the incoming branches have been enabled where N is less than M. Subsequent enablements of incoming branches do not result in the thread of control being passed on. The join construct resets when all active incoming branches have been enabled. The join occurs in a structured context, that is, there must be a single parallel split construct early in the process model with which the join is associated and it must merge all of the branches emanating from the parallel split. These branches must either follow from the parallel split to the join without any splits or joins or be structured in form that is balanced splits and joins. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So we start with A and then all three B, C and D are activated completed at the same time and we go to E. In the next case we have A and then all three are activated and B and C are completed simultaneously. We go to E and then D finishes and doesn't activate E again. And in the next case we have again all three activated and now B is completed, C is completed, we go to E and then D is completed and E is not activated again. In BPMN this can be modeled using a complex gateway. According to the BPMN 2.0 specification, we can define an expression called activation condition that specifies that we want two out of three tokens before we activate the complex gateway. This would exactly do what we need here. When the third approved expenditure task will eventually be completed, its token will wait before the complex gateway. Therefore, we have used a terminate end event to get rid of this token. Unfortunately, we could not verify if this works properly in Camunda because the complex gateway is not supported by Camunda 8.3. Thank you for watching.